multi-dimensional beings, earth angels. Let's just move this. Ah. 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 Okay, I don't know. Hello, multi-dimensional beings, earth angels, starseeds incarnated, light warriors and light workers incarnated. Welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel reading a message for you, beautiful souls. I read for the collective of souls who are operating through reality from an altered state of consciousness, who are living parallel lives, one in the astral, one in the physical, in your mental realm and your physical. You guys have a heightened state of observation. You have unlocked and attached to your higher awareness of perception and you move through life with this, you move through life from your higher awareness and you experience things from your inner observer. And this reading is for you because you guys are free operating and moving through life from this very, very beautiful, um, I don't even know what to call it, from this beautiful actualization of higher consciousness. And you guys are really really special if you found this reading it's because we're going into deeper about how you guys of course have access to the astral spaces the astral planes and energetic realms the quantum realm how do you access this through your mind through your being off in daydream off zoning out the fact is that you guys your consciousness wanders away sometimes and in this wandering away, you're going on these astral travels. There's all different stages or layers or experiences of astral traveling, some more visceral than others, some very like throughout your day to day and some like heightened experiences with dreams or astral projection. But in general, you guys, just daydreaming is a very good example of mild astral travel, right? how you guys it comes so easy to you it's so natural that we have these 3d terms that we're being mistaken for actually what we're what's actually happening right daydream this is a mistaken term or it's just a term used at a different level of understanding um sorry guys that was just a little spirit thing moving around my brain <laughs> But there's, uh, what were we just saying? Right, so daydreams, this is a term from a certain level of understanding for you guys. It's like from a 3D perspective, you daydream from a higher level uh, perspective. What you're actually doing is flicking through quantum timelines. Everything is existing in the quantum realm as these kind of parallel realities. Every version of you exists right now simultaneously, right? This is a reading for you because this really is information based on these key points of understanding, right? Time is all happening simultaneously. Every version of you that could possibly exist or will exist, has existed or can exist, does exist in the astral space, the quantum realm. This is where we abide in these readings by more quantum physics when it comes to the multiverse or multiverse theory and... Um, how you're existing in all this infinite potentials, right? Like in quantum physics, um, there's all these potential outcomes all the time of everything, okay? Of atoms, of particles, of everything, timelines, potentials. Everything's existing in all states at once. Schrodinger's cat in the box theory, things like this. So yeah, this reading is really based on the, the level of foundation that we're building on of that. And the fact is, is that you have access to the quantum realm within your mind and you do this a lot. You flick through timelines. Um, and if you are not new here, you've probably heard uh, me talk about this before for you guys as well. So it's this energy of you being in the mental space of the uncreated and energetic realms okay, where all of these different timelines of you exist simultaneously that you can tap into, envision, you fall into in daydreams, right, certain scenes that you daydream about that maybe haven't happened in the 3D or that a certain situation can happen and you can daydream about it later on, but in it going or turning out in different ways, um, right? This is a funny example, actually. 
uh, you know when you have like uh, something happen in your 3D and then you think of all the good things to say afterwards and then you run over that scenario, right? People that are in a monologue don't run over past conversations and stuff. You guys have a heightened inner monologue and you run over situations and things like this just in your daydream because you're filtering through different alternate timelines or potential outcomes that that situation could have materialized into that coexist around it that were not condensed down into, right? That one timeline is condensed into that we perceive as how that situation went, but there's also a million different in infinite other realities that had that situation happen in different ways and guess what you're able to access those realities and a lot of you zone off and have these realities bubble into you sometimes these parallel realities a lot of you could do this as a form of escapism and this is how it could have really started your astral travel work is that you escape through the mind you have a restless consciousness and you escape through the mind. This 3D physical reality does not always hold... Oh, sorry if you hear like drilling or something. I don't really know where it's coming from, but there's reconstruction happening in timelines, that's for sure. Um, but what were we saying now? So you have a restless consciousness, so we were saying this. So you've always escaped a lot through the mind because... The way that the system's built as well was never really great for you because you have a very active consciousness and higher awareness. Your mind's always exploring, wandering, and looking to tether onto energies in the physical. So one of the energies that this 3D plane has a lot of it in that I think is actually inducive to this astral work or pushes us more into that is waiting, okay? Waiting, waiting rooms, being stuck in like classes or workplaces or things like this, right, where we're kind of just forced to be there and it's not very mentally stimulating. Situations like this, okay, in the physical that aren't mentally stimulating and we're kind of just forced to be there or, you know, we're obligated to be there or something. A lot of these times for you have been times that have actually grown your astral work travel because you guys look for mental stimulation. Not that you look for mental stimulation, it's that your mind is very what's the right word your mind's very charged up it's very curious it's very energetic it's full of life it's full of wonder it's full of curiosity like that energy that could be said in a thousand different ways is basically like you have an extra curiosity like there's not a right word to describe that i hate it when that happens you guys but um, anyway, you get what I mean. You have this extra energy inside of you and maybe when you were younger, these are situations that helped you grow your astral travel abilities because often you find yourself escaping this physical into something uh, more interesting <laughs> in the astral, okay? In your daydreams, in your thoughts. And I feel like you guys feel very comfortable in the energy feeling space of that. Like we were talking about daydreams earlier as well. This is quite literally dreams in the day where do we go when we're in the dream we're in the astral planes the energy realms okay so where do we go when we daydream the same space daydreaming is you accessing the astral planes without being or needing to be asleep this is also true because we produce the same brainwave frequencies in REM sleep in our dream sleep as we do in daydreams so these are like I think correct me if I'm wrong I think it's theta brainwaves um we like taking it back now to those past readings. Um, but yeah, so you're entering certain brainwave states um, continuously that not many people enter unless they're in that kind of sleep state or um, you enter more brainwave frequencies throughout your day to day that others would only enter late at night or whilst they're in sleep things like this deep relaxed states because to daydream we need to be in this relaxed state so it's like um if you get bored easily and things like this you could become very relaxed easily in certain situations um 
like when you're sat in nature you guys have a deep ability to be able to fall into like relaxed frequencies that allow you to kind of fall into the astral space and into these other timelines so again we've been over this before how you guys can access multiple different timelines and parallel realities of yourself and i'm going to leave a couple readings linked down below i feel could be relevant for you but you have energetic and astral access to parallel realities and timelines you do this all the time and it's very very interesting because you have access through dreams or through their energetic cords so you access parallel timelines a lot of you in your dreams you will have dreams and you're actually living in alternate timelines right and then when you wake up you're coming back to this one a lot of you go through and live experiences in parallel realities whilst you're dreaming and you also do this while you're daydreaming as well you're living in parallel or experiencing the perception of parallel realities you also do this through energetic cords energetic cords i'll try and find the reading where we spoke about this before and link it below energetic cords basically if we're unfamiliar everything has an energetic cord whether that's a connection in your life a timeline an aspect of your life a version of self everything and anything has an energetic cord attached to it because energetic cords are built through experience and emotion so if there is someone you meet that you have multiple parallel realities in where you've already been met before or parallel realities also what's included in this bridging gap is past lives everything is simultaneous and happening simultaneously so past lives are already uh, Past lives are basically parallel realities, right? Because we think, oh, it's in the past, past life. But past is a very 3D term where we're abiding by the structure of linear time. There being a past and future. When we get into quantum, there is no past and future. Everything's simultaneous. It's just perceived past and perceived future from the space or location that we're perceiving reality and consciousness from right now. But you guys, parallel realities include past lives. So it can be a connection in your life that you meet that you have met before in a dream because you've met them in a, a parallel reality before because you were already connected in a parallel reality some of you have actually done this before you've had dreams of people and then met them after or you've had dreams of people that resemble a certain person that you then meet and okay it's the same energy it's like we have dreams of soul tribe sometimes before we meet them or we sense uh okay energetically um certain energies connecting with us before we meet them when they're soul tribe because of the strong energetic cords that we have why there's strong energetic cords because with soul tribe there's multiple other parallel realities where we're already connected and doing other things or have different connections there right and there's also um us accessing them in dreams as well and in past lives a lot of soul tribe you have past lives with so these energy cords to certain individuals you'll meet are stronger and what does this mean it means upon meeting them you already feel it you feel it and you'll say it's like a spiritual connection or very familiar and what is that feeling you're feeling there familiarity that is you leaking information and able to access the energetic cord okay from other parallel realities because if i meet someone and they feel so familiar and i'm like acknowledging that and i'm like why does this feel why would i have that familiar feeling in the first place it's like i'm connected to all different vessels in all my other uh, parallel timelines something about star seeds is that you're multi-dimensional beings and i greet you that way because it's true and what is the multi-dimensional being able to do they're connected to all of their multi-dimensional vessels and avatars and parallel realities okay which means energetically you're connected to other vessels of yourself and what they're experiencing in their reality they could have already met this person and have a strong connection with them even if you don't in this reality but because you're connected with vessels and other versions of yourself you will feel this leaking of energetic information to you from what you've experienced in other timelines right so people feel familiar sometimes because you are able to access leaked energetic information information from other timelines where you're already familiar or have a connection with them just using that as an example let's say so 
Yeah, so it's interesting because these energetic cords hold a lot of information about our past lives and parallel realities, things like this. Sometimes this is actually really, really quite a lot because of how strong you are connected to other avatar versions of yourself. Now, this is where higher self comes in tune as well. You are in tune with your higher self. Your higher self is the embodiment of the un unity of all versions of you. Every single past life, every single multiverse avatar of you that exists right now, every single single vessel that's experiencing this, that and that, one timeline you're this, one timeline you're this, one time you live here, one time you live here, right, the higher self is the conscious awareness of all of these, so when we sit in the seat of the higher self, we gain a lot of clarity, okay, and information and guidance, because they're ultimately able to guide us from the higher perspective of all connected timelines, right, I asked my higher self about a certain connection, hmm, um, you know, and then I might start channeling information from them of information about this person and why they're connected to me, let's say from a past life. I can't access that information like unless I'm connected to my higher self who holds all of these records of all of these multiverse versions of ourselves. So you guys channel information from your higher self and that information that you channel or have access to includes other timelines that exist as possibilities for you that are already existing that you're not currently inhabiting, other timelines that are parallel like past lives and things like this. You get guidance from your higher self because your higher self is the connector. Seeing from an over overall point of higher perspective to the different timelines you're in, these different timelines you're in, they're all connected. And when change happens, we're not changing the energy in our life, we're shifting to a different timeline where that's different. And so your higher self is the connector between shifting timelines, it sees the connections. And it says, oh, you want this timeline? Well, I can see that way over here, and I can see the connecting ones in between. You might not know that these are the connecting ones so I'm going to take you on this path where detours happen because you don't know that those detours are going to connect you to this timeline up here because I can see it all that's your higher self they are able to access from a 360 point of view um, it's almost like they pinch the screen and zoom out on your photos camera roll okay and each photo is a different timeline and they can see them all connected together whereas we're looking at our screen our reality through clicking on one of our photos on our camera roll but our higher self zooms out and can see them all next to each other if that makes sense so your higher self is helping you connect to a certain reality right now and you're also connecting with connections who you have things going on in other parallel realities with this can be co-collaborations for some of you business wise friendship wise some of you it could be romantic but the thing is is that there's certain people who you're meeting that you already have collaborated with or done work with in other parallel realities and that's maybe why they feel familiar on the other hand there's also karmic contracts you're ending out with people who you were connected to in past lives that have fulfilled certain roles as well right so <clears throat> everything's carried over but uh, what were we saying here? So you are quantumly connected to other multiverse vessels of yourself in a very much clearer way. You're multi you're multi-dimensional. Um <clears throat> and they're always com in communication with you. Sorry guys, there's a lot of energy moving through me right now. Okay, it's just you're always in communication with your higher self and you're also always in communication with other parallel realities um, of yourself. Uh, when you zone out, um, you take the seat of your higher self and that means that you're simultaneously synced up and connected to all those versions of you in all those timelines and you can gather information from them and connect with them. You can channel from timelines of parallel realities that are considered in the future or past and gain information from them, especially future selves. A lot of you channel a lot from future parallel versions of yourself and that what, that is what helps you guide your way and you actually communicate with your past version being your past version being now. So let's say there's a future version of yourself sending energy 
back to you in this moment of time. They're communicating with you now and you're communicating with them, right? And you already do this too with past versions of yourself. Yourself right now is a, in this moment is actually a past version from another self. And there's a past version of yourself that you're the future's version of now too, that you send energy to when you reflect about certain things. You reflect on a situation, you open up that parallel timeline from the past, you're communicating with yourself in it by reflecting on it and sending energy into it from a new high end space of awareness that you're at now that you weren't before. You're sending them messages, you're sending them guidance uh, from the past that you receive in that past self, is, um, presently if that makes sense and it's like the past the future and everything is all very woven up and interacting with each other all the time quantumly too this is it as well you know like quantum timelines of atoms light particles this is how that works as well it's like past and future always interacting with each other to create the present right um so your higher self is the unity of all these and sitting in the seat of your higher self gives us gives you simultaneous access to all of them, all united um, vessels. This is why higher self is so powerful and expansive for solutions and guidance, right? So the higher self can see all connecting lines from each timeline of frequency and version of self. And I kept hearing as well, the only possible movement is across the parallel realities. The only movement, the only change we ever have is when we're flicking into new vessels, new parallel timelines, new realities. And I think this is the thing people get, um, not, not you guys, like my collective I read for, you guys are very much on the same page. Um, and you know, you're on this same shared journey as well and making your own discoveries and researching deeper to deeper concepts, more abstract concepts of reality and life. So, but when are we, um, sometimes when I think about this from maybe more of a 3D vessels perspective, it can be a lot for some people to comprehend that we shift realities instead of them, they think that they're actually changing what's before them, but they're moving into something else, right? Like reality, we're always flicking through reality. And just because this room looks the same one, the same, um, 10 minutes to the next 10 minutes, people presume, oh, we're in the same reality. No, we shift realities every second. We're constantly condensing and scattering to condense and scattering to condense and scattering to condense all the time with every thought. Every thought is a vibration, which means every thought is a reality, which means every moment, what you're thinking and feeling is a vibration that will materialize a reality around you of that vibration. So if you change your thought or feeling in one second to the next, you're in a different reality, you're in a different vibration, you're in a different timeline and different outcomes are in different vibrational timelines. Higher outcomes and more optimal outcomes only reside in higher, more optimal frequencies because it's frequency and this is how it works, you know, energetically. Lower frequencies um, are co like frequencies are correlated to emotion. So if frequencies are correlated to emotion and thoughts, frequencies also are correlated to certain timelines and certain outcomes. So if outcomes of higher frequencies are going to be outcomes of higher emotional frequencies, like enlightenment, joy, acceptance, trust, gratitude, right? Whereas if we're in lower vibrations, we're going to condense into realities of those lower energies and lower energies are connected to the emotions of what? Anger, frustration, guilt, shame, things like this, right? right? Um, so it's like we're constantly actually condensing into different timelines. It's just that what, what we talk about on here a lot is timeline shifts, dimensional shifts, and these seem to be more noticeable, prominent ones. Like, for example, when loads of people fall out of your life and then you get new connections like a few months afterwards, right? Or you end a certain job or you end a certain thing or a certain routine falls apart and then you start a new one. Oh, you um, dye your hair or you cut your hair or you do this or that right these changes are 
you changing because you're shifting to a new reality and a lot of you have undergone so many shifts because as star seeds we're multi-dimensional beings we are not anchored and tied to one specific condensed timeline um or bandwidth of frequency okay so some people can be tied to a bandwidth of frequency that they're condensing their timelines into throughout the course of their life you are not tied to a bandwidth you're constantly jumping up and around <clears throat> and you also have access to more variety of other vibrational timelines because you are a multi-dimensional being so you're able to explore the astral so you guys have been in a lot of um stepping stone timelines or temporary timelines um because in the end like you guys never settle on a 3d level is what this looks like it's like you end up emotionally evolving you end up shifting internally which is you changing and ascending frequencies which means your outer reality starts becoming unaligned with your inner plane and then you shift to the vibrational plane of timeline that reflects and mirrors your inner frequency, right? So you guys go for a lot of shifts in timeline and vibration. And I know we just jumbled that out real quick and it's probably a bit uh, holy and bits here and there, but these are just messages supposed to be confirming your downloads and maybe certain downloads that start in these type of ways um, or open up the astral space in that way uh, to bring some confirmation because I know that to certain people this type of thing is quite out there but to you guys this is very much like um, maybe like bread and butter you know what I mean like you operate from perceiving reality from this space so it's very different because you see things less physical and more energetic more quantum and yeah you guys are always connecting with other timeline versions of yourself and parallel realities and there seems to be a parallel reality that seems to be significant right now because of either one the personal people who are in it or two the thing that you're doing in it um it's like almost as if you're shifting into a parallel reality you've accessed before and these are the times where we say we've manifested it because we've already envisioned it but actually the manifesting and envisionment was just you activating and accessing a timeline potential in the astral and now that it's actually going to be coming into your line of materialization that you will condense into it's going to feel like you've manifested it because you've already seen this timeline before um but it's just you're only now physically condensing into it um because you often sense and can access timelines that aren't always aligned with you in your current right being a multi-dimensional being means you're untethered which means that you can access certain timelines of reality that you don't even have to be energetically aligned with to perceive right you can perceive certain timelines that aren't even a frequency match to you right now right this is the thing that i try to get across is that you're untethered is that there's a lot of different energies that branch off in different ways with this untethered energy in a sense of um you know you guys seeing multiple aspects of a situation all at one time all different perspectives right whereas normally or whatever normal is Normally, someone would be of a frequency and can only see a situation from the frequency that they're embodying. But you guys can be a certain frequency and perceive a situation in a correlated way and still have access to all of those other versions of viewing that situation, right? Even if they're not correlated to your frequency, it's like you can instantaneously shift to these different perceptions and perceptions are frequencies. So <clears throat> it's like you have controlled shifting in certain ways um but yeah so this is where we're going to leave the reading yeah it does feel like maybe some of you are condensing into certain parallel timelines that you've either dreamed about before or like accessed in dreams or that you wanted to manifest because you found them and thought they were really cool and in that process of manifesting it's just like basically you've aligned with that frequency right that you were close to before so yeah you're also meeting people that you've met in parallel timelines or there's certain things that were happening in parallel timelines that weren't in your reality now that are moving into your reality now right so new energies new beginnings new level ups new uh level ups in a way of um having experiences of expansion or gaining things that you haven't necessarily had in such a way before so i love you all so much this is where i'm going to leave this reading for you beautiful souls and i will see you all tomorrow Mwah.